Hi, I'm Karen Buxman, nurse, author, neurohumorist, and I am so grateful to be here with my two colleagues, fellow Nightingale, Leanne Tiemann, who is the author of the Chicken Soup for the Nurses' Soul series and the founder of Self Care for Healthcare, and my friend and colleague, Kathy Dempsey, who is the author of Keep Shedding and Shed Your Dead and the founder of the Shedding Revolution. And we are here together as the three Nightingales to help honor, celebrate, and recognize you, especially now during Nurses Week. What do you think, Kathy? Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited. I mean, I always remembered for decades Nurses Week and uh, as a nurse myself and then uh, in administration planning the Nurses Week and, and then, you know, going and speaking live for so many nurses weeks and uh you know now that we have this crisis come upon us you know we're doing a lot of things virtually and uh so uh the three nightingales uh wanted to get together and just just spend just a few minutes with you and just again thank you um you know when we think about this uh we talked about this a few months ago um uh, back last fall about the three nightingales and we're just like it's florence nightingale's 200th birthday this year and her birthday actually is um on on nurses week i think it's may 12th uh yep. if i'm <laughs> correct on that one and and if you think about the tradition that she um, set for us and here we are like a couple hundred years later and 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 you're carrying this on in, in one of the most stressful times uh to be a healthcare professional that we've ever ever had in our lifetime i know for sure in my lifetime and um you know i just think what would florence what would she think i mean i think she'd be so proud um of the nurses who um are so afraid and they they're courageous and they keep on getting up and they go to work every day knowing that you know they could get infected they could infect their family or their children um but you do it because this is just your job so um i want to say just from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you yeah Karen? as i was thinking about what i want to share with you today I, you know i do i want to recognize celebrate and honor you and i just felt that it would be so fitting if i could share a little bit of levity and a smile with you. And so I want to tell you about the nurse who had been working in a hospital setting for many years and finally made the decision to go work in long-term care. And after a week of orientation, Friday she was ready to go home, have a nice weekend, and come back and hit the floor, boots on the ground on Monday. But as she goes out the door on Friday, she hears one of the residents calling out, honey, honey, help, help. Can you come help me? So she went over and she said, what, what's wrong? And the resident looked around and she said, well, she said, tomorrow's my birthday, but I don't think anybody here is gonna remember. Could you sing me happy birthday? And the nurse was so taken. She said, well, of course. And so she sang her happy birthday, sat down, visited with her for a little bit and found out that the resident's name was Bertha. And Bertha loved birthdays. She loved celebrating and she loved chocolate cake with buttercream icing. And so on her way home, what does she do? She stops by the store, she gets the ingredients, she makes a cake and on her day off, she goes back the following day, she takes Bertha the birthday cake, she takes her balloons, she goes back, she sings to her again, she celebrates and she sees everybody around smiling and nodding and just had this feel good feeling. She goes home and on Monday morning, as planned, comes in ready to roll and one of the nurses said, before you hit the floor, the D director of nursing, the DON would like to see you. And so she's a little curious. She goes into the office and she says, is something wrong? She goes, well, I want to talk to you about Bertha. And the nurse said, is she okay? And she said, yes, yes, she's fine. She's fine. But I just need to let you know, it wasn't her birthday. And the nurse said, what? And she said, no, it wasn't her birthday. She loves birthdays. 
She loves celebrating. She loves chocolate cake with buttercream icing. And so every time we have a new employee, <laughs> she gets them. <laughs> she tells them it's her birthday. And the nurse hung her head and she said, how many people, how many of them fall for it? And her director looked at her and smiled and said, all the good ones. Oh, that's, that's a you. great answer. You are <laughs> all great. the good ones. And we are so grateful and so honored to celebrate this Nurses Week with you. Leanne? Well, you are the good ones. And this is a special story for, from Chicken Soup from the Nurses Soul about a nurse who was working nights, pediatric, cancer floor. And one night she was tiptoeing from bed to crib. She found the little seven-year-old girl sound asleep, bald as a peach. Her little hand was sticking through the rail. And the good nurse went there just so instinctively as nurses do, bent down and took the little girl's hand, kissed her on the forehead, and whispered a prayer for her. Then she went to tiptoe away when she heard the child go, Miss Allison, Miss Allison. So she went back and took the little girl's hand again. And the child looked up at her and said, Miss Allison, when I grow up, I want to be what you are. Oh, she said, I know you're going to grow up, honey. You're going to be a marvelous nurse someday. And the child said, I don't want to be a nurse. It's an angel I want to be. Aww. And it's true. <laughs> Nurses are the angels of yes. mercy. Yes. That's why I dedicated Chicken Soup for the Soul, Inspiration for Nurses to you. And the dedication reads, to all nurses who perhaps more than any other group on earth truly eased the suffering of the world. So for every hand you've held, every patient and life you've touched, we Nightingales just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Because some days when you can't take all the pain away and you can't make everything better and you feel like your part is pretty small in this whole big thing, know that you are making a difference far beyond your knowledge or comprehension. Because it really is true. You are the angels of mercy and you are the heroes. Thank you. That's beautiful. On behalf of Kathy, Leanne, and myself, the Three Night and Gals, we wish you Happy Nurses Week. We honor you, we celebrate you, and we are grateful, delighted, and honored to be on this journey with you. Um, we are here for you. We will continue to be here for you. And if you are interested in finding out additional information and how we can serve you in additional ways. We would be honored if you go to the page yearofthenurse.com. And until then, thank you and God bless. <laughs>